All right, guys. Welcome back to another episode of LSPDF4. We're back with the Los Angeles County Sheriff's Department. We're gonna be using the Compton livery uh, in the state of California, my hometown. Let's uh, get on patrol and then uh, let's see what we get into, guys. Let's go, partner. Let's see if LPR. Okay, that's on. Dispatch to any available central unit. Citizens report a medical emergency. Units respond code three. In so Little Soul. Central, oh, that's all the way in the city, so we're definitely not gonna take that. But uh, we'll see what we get into out here. Where we at? Uh, the vehicle is by uh, Reaper. You can find it on his Discord. And the lighting pattern looks something like this. Very nice. Citizens report a disturbance. Alright, so we got somebody taking pictures of their property. Photograph of private property. Okay, so we got somebody taking photos of a private property. Not a go three situation, so we want to get there, we'll get there. Uh, look like this might be the individual here. Looks like he might be the person. So let's go ahead and um, talk to the resident. See uh, who it is. I'm the top percent. So we go all the way around to get in there. All right, partner. Whenever. Oh my, the gate is right there. Wow. Okay, whatever. You guys didn't see that. Thanks for getting here so quickly. Okay, not a problem. Why did you call us? That person over there keeps taking pictures of my house. I respectfully asked him to leave, but he never did. I don't feel comfortable with him doing that, officer. Okay, I will talk to them. Thank you. All right, so if you guys know anything about the, um, the Constitution, the yeah, amendments, uh, First Amendments, which is the uh, rights of, uh, which is free speech and the rights of press, Technically, as long as he's in the public, anything that's in the public view, he can take a picture of. As long as he's not on her actual property, he's not actually breaking any laws. So, we're going to talk to him and see what's going on. Make sure he didn't get on. If he got on the property, then that's a different story. Spotlight is dead on. May I ask, what are you doing here? Just got out taking some pictures. Obviously, I got a new camera the other day. Can I ask you what you're taking photos of? Yeah, just trying to get some pics of the sky. I want to see how well the photos turn out. I see you're not taking any pictures of the house over there. No, officer, why? The resident was concerned you may have been taking photos of their property. Oh, it must have been a misunderstanding. I've, I've never taken any photos of that. There's no problem I ever. I can go somewhere else if you want me to. Would you mind? That would make them feel more comfortable, I'd say. Yeah, no problem. I can take these photos anywhere after all. I really appreciate the cooperation. Have a good day. All right, so he left. Uh, we're gonna go back, talk to the caller here, and then uh, we'll call this call for. And sorry if you hear anything in the background. It's my dog. All right, so I spoke with the photographer, and they agreed to go somewhere else. They didn't want any trouble and were very understanding. Sounds good after I just don't like the idea of people potentially taking pictures of my house, I guess. I'm sure I understand. Is there anything else I can help you with today? No, that's all about it. Thanks for the help. All right, well, go for a dispatch. Attention all units. Sorry. Sorry, man. All right, so let's let dispatch know that we are available for calls. 10-4, copy that. 10-8. Alright, let's go, partner. Uh, what did I just answer? I don't know what I just answered. Roger, code four. 
Where is this other thing? Where is this second one? No, I'm not doing a traffic for it. Alright, so we got this guy here. Uh, expired license. So we're gonna... Pull him over and see why he's... Uh, driving with expired license. Uh, occupied two times. So the vehicle is occupied two times. Let's get a quick play check on it. Target vehicle license plate. Fire red station. Six one seven. David Nora Frank zero seven three. A traffic violation. Approach with caution. Female driver being a passenger. Uh, good afternoon. Deputy Boy with the Los Angeles County Sheriff's Department. Thank you, I'm a good. It's a good morning. Yeah. Um You know I put you over there? Damn, I honestly don't know. Well, basically, where is the vehicle document question? We're gonna just let her know about her expired registration. Do you know your vehicle is expired? I thought I had renewed it, damn DMV, and then uh, you don't have insurance on the vehicle. I paid the non-insured motor fee at the DMV. Okay. Well, let me see some documentation. Let me see May ID. I see your ID, please. Thank you. So I don't think she don't have no proof of insurance. So if she doesn't, she is not going to be able to drive the vehicle. Because in the state of California, you need driver's license, registration, and proof of insurance in order in order to um. in order to operate a vehicle on a roadway and she don't seem like she got any of that well she got registration but expired let's check her out though real quick everything's good with her um this is the passenger his license is suspended so he wouldn't even be able to drive even if she did have valid so her expired and no insurance so who's the vehicle owner is she the vehicle owner or is he She's a vehicle owner. Okay, so well, she's gonna get a couple citations here. Uh, vehicle documents violation. Failure to present. To present insurance. And expired registration greater than 30 days. So, submit. All right, so I don't know what that yellow sign is and what it's taking me to, but oh, well, it just disappeared now, which is cool. All right, ma'am, you're going to receive two citations today, one for no insurance and another one for expired registration, and also you will not be able to drive this vehicle, so I'm going to go ahead and ask you to step out the vehicle for me. Whatever. Stop! All right, follow me. You are valid. Sorry. Oh, my bad, bro. All right, just stop right there. Go ahead, take a seat on the ground for me. Then we're gonna pull him out. We're gonna um. Don't move. All right, follow me, bro. We're just gonna patch you down really quick. And then we're gonna get a um, female unit out here for her. Illegal prescription pills. All right, so right now you go, you're not under arrest, you're being detained. And so we can figure out what's going on with these illegal prescription pills that you got going on here. 
So I'm gonna sit you in the back of our unit here. Now since the car is gonna be impounded, we're gonna be doing an inventory search of it. Just in case, you know, anything, they go back to pick up the vehicle and they say something is missing, you know, we'll know what was in there if they ever want to make a report on it. All right, so we're going to call a female unit here really quick. Backup required on um, uh, Armadillo Avenue. Out. I didn't mean to get him out. Let's put him back inside the vehicle if this thing cooperates with me. Get in there. All right. Hey, how y'all doing? Hello. Thank you for coming. Hey, can you stand up for me? All right, so we're gonna have her pat her down, see if we come up with anything from her. Xanax prescribed and a burnt meth pipe. Alright, so go ahead and sit on the ground. She's probably just gonna get a ticket for um, paraphernalia for the burnt meth pipe that she had. The Xanax is prescribed, so can't really do nothing about that. But let's search the vehicle. A large axe, a briefcase full of $100 bills. So, with that and the Xanax, she could be selling them, but um, don't really got no PC to really do a um, charge or anything, so uh, I'm going to just write her another ticket for the paraphernalia that she had, and then from there we'll, um, so he's going to be charged with the drug possession of the illegal prescriptions. Find that one real quick. Let's see. Turn that EFDR off. See if they got. I think that'll be around. Charge we can get rid of. Alright, so, um, that's for him. So, the charges are right, cool. And then for her, I don't, narcotics violation, possession of drug, yeah. So, we'll give her a citation. She'll have to appear in court for that. AC Reynolds. All right, Ms. Reynolds, you're gonna be receiving another citation for the drug paraphernalia. You have a drug uh, a court case that you'll have to appear on. If not, then a bench warrant will be issued for your arrest. So, Citizens report an arson attack. All right, so we're gonna to respond to that. Uh, we're gonna get your taxi out here real quick. And then for him, assistance required in Sandy Shores. Turn. All right, there we go. I don't know why I'm out. There we go. All right, partner, let's go. Oh, let's get a uh, quick tow truck out here for her vehicle. Flatbed, assistance required on Armadillo Avenue. All 
All right, so we just wanted to look like somebody is setting vehicles on fire. We're going to cut down code three so he won't know that we're coming. All right, we got him around. Suspect on the run. Dispatch, we have the suspect in sight. Alright, hands up. Hands up. Freeze, hands up. Give it up. Look like the fire department is here already too, also, so that's a good thing. Get on the ground. Get on the ground. Alright, so we have one in custody. One in custody dispatch. Roger that. So the fire department is working on that. Spat him down. Charge him on arson. Oh, shoot, they fly. Illegal prescription pills and Demoral and a burnt meth pipe. All right, and then also arson. Assistance required in Grande and Sonora Desert. So while everybody is doing that, we're gonna um, Get that vehicle towed up out of here. But for now, let's uh, let's write up the charges for this guy. So he had different drugs on him. So for for instance, for the first one, illegal prescription pills, and then the other one was Demoral. Demoral. Let's see if they have. Let's see if they have that as an option in here. Oh, not a missing. Oh, yep, right here. Here we go. That's a misdemeanor possession of it. Um, and paraphernalia. And also property vandalism for no oh, arson. Well, it's gonna be criminal, simple, no criminal damage to the property since he did set it on fire. And let's see, so that's firearm. Hmm, let's see where would that be at? Actually, uh, oh here we go, arson. Uh, we're gonna do arson felony. So those are all his charges. We'll look at all the court cases at the end of the episode, so we can see what everybody has. Uh, let's check this vehicle. See what the register to. Maybe we can get the insurance company out here. Though. Target vehicle license plate six yeah, five yeah, Nora but... Tom Frank six one one. Target is ten four. So we'll have it sold to our um. To our impound and then um, we'll have the victim come pick it up for no charge. We'll just hold it there. Alright, partner. 10 4 10 8. Alright. So, tow truck got the car. So, let's uh, get back all on patrol. See you know what else we can get into. All units. Oh, sorry. Oh, my bad. I was trying to end the call and I crashed. Alright. It's a nice day in the country. Got coyotes walking around and stuff. I'm guessing this would be like the Valley, Lancaster area in California, if you want to say. Sandy Shore. Alright, so we got a wanted suspect. Uh, we got to look him up. Dimitri. That's a Russian name for sure. Uh, let's see. Dimitri. DV. Hey. 
see what was his name again, guys. Dimitri D Z A S O K H O V. All right, let's see. Let's see if I can remember that. All right, pull up our computer back here. Dimitri D C. A S O K H O P. Suspect is wanted by police. Uh, so we got another person. Uh, his charges are arson. So let's go uh, look for Mr. Dimitri and see if we can uh, apprehend him. All right. This is the most accurate LA County Sheriff car pack that you'll find by Reaper that I know of. Because I know a lot of people when they make it, they put lights in the taillights. And LA County Sheriff do not use flashing lights in the taillights, only in the headlights. They use strobe lights, but people put strobes in the back for some reason. Alright, so look, this looks like this might be our suspect right now. Yep. Either. Dispatch, purpose site. Got him. Nowhere to run now. Two for two that with the taser today, guys. Now. Two for two. You're going nowhere. Oh now. Whoa. Oh, Mr. Dimitri, almost didn't see, see the end of today. Hey, where y'all going? Where y'all going? All right, so we're gonna take him ourselves since the jail is not too far from us. Took him back to our vehicle real quick and then search him and then uh, let's just pat him down real quick. He had a handgun with a tampered serial number and a sawed-off shotgun. Roger that. Code 4. Alright, so not only are you going for your arrest, your arrest warrant that you have for arson, you're going to be charged with possession of a handgun with a tampered serial number. So ain't no need to run a handgun. But we're going to check to see if that, that shotgun is stolen. I mean, you can't really search it. Oh, oh it's a tampered. So I guess he was able to. So it's his gun. I don't know why he tampered with the uh, thingy, but he did. So both of them are his guns, so he can't be charged with neither of the guns. Citizens report a criminal resisting arrest in Mount Chiliad. Respond code three. No, I'm good. Let's uh, actually make ourselves. 10 4 10. Six. So, I mean, technically, I could charge him for having a tampered handgun because you cannot tamper with your serial number out here in California. That is a felony crime. Um, he wasn't driving, so technically, I can't charge him with. Uh, technically, I cannot uh, charge him with expired driver's license, arrest warrant, is for child abuse also and also for failure to sign a traffic citation okay so violent uh, with a 10 no 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 possession uh let's see your number tampered and also he does have a couple of marks out for his rest for child abuse and stuff like that. Let's see. Um, I know he had one up for arson also. I 
I don't see the child abuse. Then it's sexual battery of a child. Not really seeing the abuse part. Yeah, I'm not seeing it for this other red one. Well, let's try to move what we got now, which is just the arson and a weapon, simply. Child abuse, shot, neglect, which. No, I want to be on it. No. no. It will be on it like this, but I guess they don't have it as an option right now. Which is cool, I guess. Um, let's go through it one more time. If not, then I'm just I'll leave it as this. Nope. And this is basically the same thing. I got it for activated stalking, but they don't have it for child abuse or neglect. I had to figure out who um, made this list and tell them to, uh, to update that part. Because they got everything in here from rape to sexual abuse, but they don't have the uh, child neglect or um, child abuse one. Yeah, we don't need none of that. Alright, whatever. So, you know he has that worn off with the rest, so he'll be going for that, bro. Let's try to put him to the station, and then, uh, that's gonna be it for this episode. We'll do the court cases real quick, and then, uh, wrap it up. Uh, with the new update, I do believe, well, not like right, right now, I think it, with the new South of Pet update, you can actually uh, walk the suspect. You can actually get him out the car and then walk him inside. Which I thought was which I think is pretty cool, makes it more realistic. Where's the suspect? Another one of my cases got shit canned. Now how am I supposed to get overtime? Yes, sir. Apologize, dumbass. It's okay. Okay, so it's okay. don't know what's going on here, but the suspect is not even. Turn around. Where the heck is the suspect at? Is he still out here? Nope. Alright, so I guess he got put in the cell already. So. Alright, let's go. Alright, guys, so we're gonna end it up. We're gonna end the episode there. Let's go ahead and pull out our tablet and uh, check out these court cases for today. So. Uh, 13. Today is 13. So I need to actually. Clear these. Uh, so we have, she was fined a total of $1,225. Uh, illegal possession of prescription medication. We got two months in prison and fined $168. Casey Reynolds, that's her again uh, for her drug possession of, uh, possession of drug paraphernalia. She was fined $198. No jail time, so she's lucky. Um, Mr. Dryzy, I guess, Dryz, arson, possession of Demerol, illegal possession of prescription medication, possession of drug paraphernalia, and criminal damage to property. He got 10 years in prison and fined $14,066. And last but not least, Mr. Dimitri with 
There's two warrants, uh, one for first degree arson, the other one for child abuse and neglect, and then uh, possession of firearm serial number tamper. He got 15 years in prison with $22,000 worth of fine. So yeah, guys, so I hope you guys are going to enjoy this episode. Uh, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys on the next one.